company's success is judged by the impeccable reputation and brand name it establishes for itself. And advertising is the stairway to that summit of success. However, not everything they say in advertisements are true. Nowadays, advertising fallacies are a reality, and only few people are aware of them. Hi, I am Cherry Magdalene Piso. And I am Francis Emanuel Santander. And we are here to give information about advertising fallacies here in the Philippines. But what exactly are advertising fallacies? Well, advertising fallacies are logical flaws that advertisements use to persuade customers to buy their products or services. They do this to persuade and appeal to their buyers. However, these statements may contain logical distortions, inaccuracies, or contradictions that can make the statements quite untrue or invalid. Some of these fallacies may be more subtle than others and can be powerfully persuasive when effectively applied in marketing. And here in the Philippines, several industries use advertisements to capture attention. And most of them use logical fallacies as part of their persuasive strategy. So knowing some of these common fallacies might help us consumers make informed decisions about our purchases. We have listed some of the well-known advertisements found in Philippine television. Along with that, we have noted the logical fallacies we have found in the following advertisements. Hanggang saan naaabot ang 20 pesos mo? Manong, pabili pong sweater. Short sleeve, long sleeve, o hoodie. 20 pesos baka mo. Mag-new Cornetto Choco Java ka na lang. Creamy ice cream made with Belgian cocoa. And the kiss of coffee. The 2011 Java Cornetto commercial. Sweater. Cornetto distracts its viewers. The whole idea of the commercial was about a guy who was buying a sweater from a vendor. But instead, we were distracted by the cheapness of the ice cream. Give extra, get extra. In this commercial, a beautiful love story started with a piece of gum. It implies that if you buy their gum, it will lead to a more significant event. Isang taon na akong pinagtutulungan. Masakit, malupit, pagkatao ay minamaliit. Masakit. Ngunit ang pinagdadaanan ko ay wala sa kalingkingan ng pagdurusa ninyo sa araw-araw. Binay for President 2016 The advertisement's message was to persuade people to vote for him because he experienced what the poor people experienced, which makes them pity him. Sa kapitbahay kong mahilig magkaraoke. Di tayo close pero nagingitian tayo. Sintonado ka. Mali-mali pa lyrics mo kahit na nakasulat na. Every Saturday night, may concert ka. Minsan, hindi kita pinabaranggay. Ngayong Pasko na, pa-cheeseburger ka naman. Number 4, Concert King, pa-cheeseburger ka naman. Made in 2015. This advertisement talks about his neighbor being loud then suddenly introducing a cheeseburger which the ideas don't connect at all. There are a whole lot more logical fallacies found in Philippine advertisements. Like the ad hominem, the strawman argument, appeal to ignorance, false dilemma, circular argument, hasty generalization, and bandwagon fallacy, and we should learn to watch out for these fallacies we ever they see in televisions and magazines. Fallacies used in advertising are often overlooked without the tools needed to examine them critically. So, raise, raise your, your awareness. awareness.